Hi folks, I uh, wanted to say hello, introduce myself through the JPATABLE organization, uh, speak to you today about this critical new program. JPATABLE at jpatable.org is a not-for-profit Jewish genetic screening and matching program that was established recently. Uh, this program is uh, a new program which involves not only screening at-risk individuals uh, because of their Jewish ancestry and couples, uh, but it also provides tools to allow them to go on to have healthy children without risk of having a child with a catastrophic genetic disorder. Uh, tell you a little bit about myself. I've been involved in Jewish genetic uh, and genomics for many years. Uh, I'm the former uh, medical director of the, Ju uh, of the Jewish Genetic Disease Consortium. Uh, this was a group of uh, all the major or many of the major Jewish uh, genetic disease groups that came to get their TASACs, familial dysautonomia, cystic fibrosis, Gaucher disease, and others. Uh, and I was tasked initially with educating physicians about the need for proper screening. Uh, we went on to create the first salivary-based DNA screening program years ago, and this has evolved into a uh, career um, in Jewish genetic screening and matching. Uh, this is a critical new program. I have a, I'm on faculty at the NYU School of Medicine, uh, Langone Medical Center, uh, and uh, I am the former uh, medical direct, uh, associate medical director of the Division of Familial Dysautonomia under the leadership of Dr. Felicia Axelrod, who's now retired. Uh, and I can tell you from a standpoint of care, this is the most critical organization I've ever been involved with. I am actually the current uh, medical director and co-founder of Kids of Courage. That's a group that travels and provides year-round programs for children with serious uh, disorders, whether they be um, medical disorders, non-genetic or genetically based disorders. Uh, we have hundreds of children and young adults that we've cared for and traveled with and provide programming for for many years now, over 14 years. And I can tell you that uh, prevention is the key to uh, Jewish genetic diseases. Most Jewish genetic disorders are preventable if we can identify carriers uh, prior to marriage. Once you're married, we can still do a lot of good work with prevention if you're identified as a carrier after marriage. Uh, and this uh, series of lectures that we're gonna be doing right now in videos will explain to you not only the j Padable program, but we're gonna tell you differences between our program and the other programs that are out there. Um, uh, the uh, difference between our program is that we test for the medical standard of care over 200 carrier states. We also do this completely confidentially. We never share results one with the other unless a couple is already married. Uh, we also work with the guidance and supervision of our rabbinical advisory board who gives us halachic guidance over all of our programs. So this is a um, very critical program. It's also the most affordable now. Uh, we've been able to negotiate down to a point where the average cost for an enrollee is $99 to $144 if they have any insurance at all, whether it's Medicaid or private insurance. Uh, there are no add-on costs. Nobody ever pays additional costs for any of our programs. It's in perpetuity. There are no additional costs. Uh, it's a saliva-based program. We don't require blood drawing. Uh, the blood is extracted from saliva. The DNA is then looked at and sequenced, and each individual is reported their individual results. Uh, when it's time for them to be matched, if they go on to get married, uh, we do the matching confidentially between couples. If a couple is already married, they still need to update their genetic screening because uh, the number of carrier states has changed dramatically over the last many years. Uh, many of you who were screened even five, six, seven years ago were screened for far less than 200 carrier states. So it's critical to not be identified as a common carrier with your spouse only after a child is born. We want to prevent uh, these disorders from happening, and the best way to do it is proper screening and proper matching, which j Padable provides. Uh, the website is jpatable.org. Please email in any questions you might have through the website or through the social media site. Uh, we will get back to you in a timely fashion, assuming they're reasonable questions, and we welcome all questions. Um, this will be the first in a series of videos over the next two to three weeks. Uh, we're going to go through not only uh, what j Padable does, we're going to compare it to the other programs out there, uh, and we're also going to go through why Jews are at greater risk for being carriers of genetic disorders. 
uh, will go through um, fascinating areas which this uh, program has uh, been part of for uh, since its inception, things like gene therapy, things like PGD, pre-implantation genetic diagnosis, things like in vitro fertilization options for couples who are identified uh, as carriers if they're already married. Uh, so we're going to go through a lot of educational uh, uh, discussions about Jewish genetic diseases. Uh, we will even break it down to individual diseases so we can learn about the need for screening based on the severity of those diseases. Uh, so that's what the program is going to look like. Um, we welcome all questions. I look forward to being uh, part of this for the next many years. Uh, it's a great organization, it's a great program, and it's one that's completely affordable and will become the standard of Jewish genetic screening and matching in the near future. Uh, we've screened many individuals and couples uh, since inception, and we've had great success at working with these families, and we want to continue that success. So. Uh, let's uh, be in touch and we will uh, see you guys shortly.